Hey guys, John Bennett here. Today we're going to go over combustion. So first we're, we're going to start off with the Zippo lighter. Classic Zippo. Around World War II for the troops. He, the founder of Zippo, he wanted two things to, with the Zippo. He wanted it to light first every time when maintained well and to be windproof. And then we have the insert. There's the casing, the top and bottom. The insert. You have, first of all, the wick inside. That'll go through in through the bottom. The striker. The striker shell. And then we have this piece of cotton out here. This is not meant to absorb fluid. This little hole right here is not to, made to be filled there. It's supposed to open it up like this and fill it inside of here. We have cotton inside of there. It has a screw here and a spring. Unscrew that and it has a spring there. And that is where the flint goes. Put our new flint in. And put our spring back in there. Put that in there. Turn it until it, just before it gets tight. Sometimes you gotta give that new flint a couple of strikes. Go ahead and take this insert out. We'll get our fluid here. Now, this has a stop cap right here. You have to get your nail or something in there to get that nozzle out. But I found the easiest way is just take your casing, take the top part, put it right in front here, be careful not to squeeze the bottle while you're doing this. But just pull that uh, out, up and out, just like that. All right, then you're going to take this insert. And you're going to lift that cotton part up, the thicker cotton, cotton at the top there. I'm just going to gently let it flow in there. I'm not going to squeeze it all. About a whole guzzle. You'll see it start to overfill the cotton. That's when you want to stop. That's about good right there. And you go ahead and reset that back in there. And you always face this spring toward the top. Put that back in there. And when you first fill it, want to let it burn for just a few seconds to get it warmed up and get when it gets warmed up it starts to pull that fluid up to, through that wick as long as you keep it well maintained it'll be one strike one light here it's still warming up here And as far as windproof, I found in like 15, 20 mile an hour winds, as long as it's not hurricane strength, it actually increases the size of the flame and it makes it uncontrollable. So it's hard to cover and light in strong wind, but it still don't like to go out in strong wind. And the great thing about this is Zippo lighters are guaranteed for life. You just mail them back to the company. There's the address. And they'll repair everything. I've seen them on YouTube where they sent them the Zippo lighter and it had the Zippo casing, but it had a Chinese insert, a fake insert. So what they did is they took the Chinese insert out, put a Zippo insert inside of it, mailed them back the Zippo insert and casing and his Chinese insert also. So they're a great company like that. And it's lifetime guarantee. And with this big lighter, I that, that's, there's no stove to that. I, I can't I can't use that for a stove. I, I can cover I can heat a, a, a little bit of one hand, and that's about it. But you can't use that as a stove. This you can use it as a stove. You can set it there. 
melt something real quick use both of your hands when you're working around something or some you know melting plastic or something who knows what you need you spend twenty dollars on a nice zippo and you literally have it for life and i'll show you another trick about that later uh, by the way the wicks last a long long time i've had this for several years one strike one light every time it's probably years if you're not a smoker unlike this zippo the, the the fluid will eventually evaporate but this won't evaporate unless you accidentally push the trigger down in your pack or, or something like that in your pocket or something there's another great tool made again made here in the united states but a little trick about the Zippo, uh, the big lighter. Flathead screwdriver on here, four set. But anyway, you take the I, I take the smallest one here, or you can use a, a variety of different things, and I'll push that up underneath that child proof, and I want to pull the bottom part of that up. See how that popped right up? You don't want to pull the top up because it's hooked. You pull that right out of there. And then I take a wider one. Now this is a spent lighter. This is a beat bick. There's no fluid in it. It won't strike. That's another good thing about the bick. When it goes, it pretty much goes. You might get another light or two out of it. But after that, no, it's, it, it's beat. It's very efficient. Just pry that open like that apart. Pull that top part off. Now the next part is tricky because it is a spring in it. All right. So what I do is I pull on this side, and I'll grip this wheel, and there's going to be a flint that falls out of that. I'm going to cup that right into my right hand and let it fall on my right hand. Well, there it ain't. There it is. All right. So there's the flint from the bick. That's another good thing. These bicks, when they finally do go, they still give you a, quite a large flint with them. And those flints from those beet, bicks, those what are what I keep as Zippo flints. I've got a small Altoids tin right here. Just packed full of them. Just a ton of them in there. And I'll collect those. I'll take those up and collect those. And that's actually what I keep in my Zippo lighter is those exact flints. So I need to put a couple in there. We'll do that too. Well, some of these picks actually give you really big, long flints like that. Those are too big for the Zippo because the spring is too too much for it, it will push it all the way up in, and I'll find a midpoint, and I'll just pop it right in half, and I'll have two smaller flints. Now those will fit in the Zippo, and that's two flints for me, so I have three flints now back in there. the only thing I have to buy is the fluid because I said the wig lasts a long time I have all these free flints from all these spent picks I have I'll find and of course we have our basic matches these are military matches because obviously you only have so many matches they can get moist and wet three of the main combustion sources besides your ferrocium rod your flint and steel and your solar these are the three basics these are the three that you're mostly going to use only buy fluid and get it for two dollars at walmart 
there's your basic combustion implements or your basic combustion tools thanks for watching go ahead and hit that subscription button that notification bell and like